Weldon was a college student, 18, who set out on a long trail in December 1946. She dressed for walking, but not a long hike, wearing jeans, sneakers, and a coat, seemingly implying that she planned to return before dark, which temperatures were supposed to drop below freezing. Walden had told her roommate that she was taking a long hike, and she never returned. Several people had spotted her as she hitchhiked her way to the trail and walked to trailhead. When she hadn't returned by dark, her roommate let the school know, and the search began. The school suspended classes so students could help with the search. At first, the process was disorganized until her father called in favors from two surrounding state police departments. Unfortunately, the search didn't pan out, and frustrated family and friends had their own theories about what happened to her. There are different theories that could explain what might have happened to her, like she ran off with her boyfriend, she was abducted, committed suicide, or died from exposure because of her improper clothing. No one has discovered her body, so her disappearance remains a mystery. But, the weirdest explanation to me is she disappeared in the Bennington Triangle, which has a handful of mysterious disappearances between 1945 and 1950. Also, there's rumored in that area of a creature called the Bennington Monster, similar to a Sasquatch. What do you guys think happened to her? Larry Jeffrey disappeared under the peak of Mount Charleston, 12,000 feet, in Humboldt Toyabe National Forest, a short drive from Las Vegas. The search began immediately after the boy wandered away from his brothers. Within days, the National Guard and a team of bloodhounds had joined the search. When Jeffrey had disappeared, he was only wearing light clothing and police were doubtful he could survive the cold temperatures at night. Searchers found evidence the boy had been eating insects and foraged berries along the way. 1,000 people had searched for 16 days but never found him. David Pilates, who wrote the 411 missing books, said there was no predators afoot that day, and since the area they were in was pretty secluded, it's easy to rule out abduction by car. 73-year-old John Devine planned the hike into Olympic National Park from Mount Baldy. The trail is tough, 24 miles, and although Devine was elderly, he also was an experienced long-distance hiker. Devine was camping with his friend Greg Blazer. They had split up on the day that Devine went missing. His friend Blazer went off to hunt while Devine took off for a day hike. Devine never returned. The unsuccessful search for Devine lasted a full week until a rescue helicopter crash had killed three people and injured five others. But, by that time, weather conditions had deteriorated, lessening the chance of finding Devine to almost impossible. Friends and family said that Devine wouldn't want to put people in danger on his behalf, so the search was called off. The search helicopter's crash is as mysterious as Devine's disappearance. Before takeoff, the pilot used a hand signal, indicating that he was going to wait 5 minutes for conditions to improve before attempting it. A moment later, the helicopter departed vertically without warning and crashed into the side of the mountain, 